kneeling before elders is a sign of respect and shows that one is well-mannered and was brought up well. This is practiced in many communities in Uganda and is especially cherished among the Baganda, where the practice has been part of the culture for centuries. The act goes beyond just getting on one's knees, but rather the gist is in the symbolism of the practice. Now this home here behind me belongs to Salongo Muviru, together with his wife, Nalongo Salome Muviru. Now this is what you'd call a typical Chiganda couple. As we're about to find out, norms and values among the Baganda do matter so much to them. Things like kneeling down, greeting, and dress code. Some of these other people do not treasure as much as the Baganda do. <laughs> Donned in the traditional Kanzu and Gomisi, Salongo Mubiru, who is also the Bweya Kajansi local council one chairman, is waiting for me at the door alongside his wife. After settling in, I asked the couple to explain the importance of some of these practices. Uh, Kneeling is mainly done by women and girls. In Buganda, it is a must do. This is how I kneel and welcome my partner. This goes for young boys as well. I, I, actually, at times I've heard some people say that my son must kneel down for me until he has finished S4. <laughs> to me, that could be a little bit of an extreme. Yeah. In greeting, the women kneel down as a sign of respect, and they normally do this while serving parents, elders, or their spouses. In Uganda, Whatever status a woman is, she has to greet her husband while kneeling in recognition of his position in the home. This tradition was taken so seriously that a girl or woman who didn't think the practice was important was ridiculed. An eligible bachelor would be dissuaded from marrying a girl without good upbringing. It was also seen as bad manners for someone to bypass another without greeting them. The Baganda are known to be polite but particular in their behavior and actions through dress and walking. The same applied at mealtime. Strict rules would govern eating, which is also considered a ceremony. The father in the home plays the role of monitoring how the children are eating. However, changing times have eroded or threatened to erode these norms with influences from many sources like the internet and movies. Many people, especially the youth, have embraced Western culture and in the process contributed to the watering down of some of these practices and norms over time. But the Buganda Minister for Youth Affairs believes the challenges Western and popular culture pose to old Ganda ways are not insurmountable. And uh, as parents, we have a lot of work to do to hammer down into them what we should be, what we should expect from them, actually culturally. And it's not only Buganda culture on test here. Many other cultures in the country are under threat. For instance, in northern Uganda, the two-decade LRA war has had influence on the Acholi community, whose full impact will only soon be felt. The war has meant a lost generation of youngsters who only know of violence and its dangerous effects, as we shall find out in our next feature on culture. Gabriel Apenu, NTV.